Hi, Nixon. This is a review of your lesson from March 12th, 2021. And we'll get right into it. <clears throat> what I'd like you to do with this recording is go ahead and follow along with it um, pretty much as is so that you can have a practice routine that uh, works for you this week in improving some of your uh, doublings and getting a little bit speedier in your tune. Not too much. So we're going to start with page 76 of the Green Book. And we're going to start from the top, the double high A. And one of the things that we talked about in the lesson today was making sure that your thumb strike when you're on the high A is relatively speedy. We don't want to spread out our high A doubling like this. Not like that. We want to have it a little bit quicker, like this. So that's what I want you to strive for this week. We'll go ahead and start on low G. Ready? One, two. I would like you to play along with each of these three times so you can back it up and play it again and then a third time the next is the double high g and the double high g is a g grace note on um to f and then you land on high g so it goes like this so go ahead and try and copy that feel what i'm doing there is i'm kind of i don't want to say holding the f but i'm giving it a little bit of attention before i go up to the final high g from low G scale, double high G scale, starting on low G. Ready? One, two. Okay, same thing with that, repeated three times. The next doubling is double F. Starting on low G, we will do a G grace note to F and another G grace note to F, like this. I started on the way with that example, didn't I? All right, F doubling, starting on low G, the scale. Ready? One, two. Paying attention to those higher doublings where we do the thumb grace note when you're coming from high G, for example, right? And then the half doubling when you're coming from high A, being aware of that. The next is the double E. It goes like this. So it's a G, a G grace note to E, F grace note on E. All right. Ready? Starting on low G, this scale for double E. Ready? One, two. Okay, the next doubling is the double D. This is a G grace note on D followed by an E grace note on D. It sounds like this. All right, we're going to do the D doubling scale from low G. Ready? One, two. And then the last doubling that I had listed for you was the throw on D, which is on page 75. And for the throw on D, we are going to start on the low A, just like it's written. Ready? Throw on D scale starting on low A. Ready? One, two. Um. 
I made two mistakes there. We're going to start again. Ready? One. Now that the doublings have been done and you've played them hopefully three times through each one by reviewing this three times before you get to this point in the video, about five and a half minutes in, um, I want to go over to the tune Castle Dangerous. And you're doing a good job of reading the music and playing every part of it technically well. What we need to do next is get it more musical. And what that means is some notes are going to be held a little longer than others. Others are going to be played shorter. And the best example of that, or the first example of that in the tune, is right in the first bar. And the first bar has the D throw, which has got a dot on it, which means we hold it. And then there's an E right after it. And that E has two flags on it. And the two flags mean it's going to be quite short. And then the next, um, the next note is an F doubling, which is on the next beat. And so in the lesson, what you're doing is playing it very even, like this. All the three notes about the same time. But we don't want that. What we want is the E to be short. We want it to go. What that requires is to go quickly from the E to the F doubling that comes right after it. And that does take some practice. One of the things I like to do to break things down into their parts to help us with these types of things, playing notes shorter, for example, is to make a little exercise out of the part of it that matters the most. In this situation, it's the transition from the D that's after the throw on D, right, to this quick E, and then a G grace note up to F. The G grace note up to F is the first part of that F doubling. And so that would sound something like this. It's like one, two, three. That's the pulse there, right? Okay, again, so all I'm doing is I'm playing D, E, G grace note to F, which is that little part in that middle of that bar. Again, do it with me. One, two. done that several times, I want to go back into the first bar of Castle Dangerous and see if you can play that E shorter. Just like we did in that little exercise. It'll go like this. The first, the first um, two beats of Castle Dangerous is... along with the recording on that maybe on your own and really get the dexterity to play that in that manner with the E shorter. The next place that it happens really isn't until probably the only other place is at the beginning of bar two where you have a half up doubling to D and then if you go to the very end of the line one after you've done your Limlua which you do them very well right you go <laughs> Okay, what I want you to do is we're going to play the end of bar three, which is the Limlua bar, right? And there's the D throw right at the end of that. And then there's a G grace note to F, high A, half E doubling. And what I want you to be able to do quicker is go from the high A to the half E doubling, which is in bar four, all right? So we're going to play it from the D of the D throw at the end of bar three. Take a look at your music. Right, it's the D throw that's after the Lumua. And we're gonna go. One, two. One, two. One. OK, 
Okay, if you were lost on that, go ahead and slow the video down to play along. The point is you need to get from the high A to the half E doubling quicker. Another way to improve that will be also playing your doubling scales. So that'll be great. Um, the last thing I want to go over is the ending phrase. And the ending phrase has some doublings in it, several in a row. Um, it goes, it's the last two bars of the, um, the part, which is the second line of the tune. <laughs> So what I just played was the last basically three beats of the tune, the last two bars, starting with the D doubling, the limlua, right? A uh, F doubling, a high G doubling, a thumb grace note to C, a D throw, and a D strike. Okay, so we're going to break that down just a little bit. Um, you already do the limluas very well, which is awesome. Um, we're going to start at the D doubling before it, and it's going to be nice and slow. Ready? One. That was, again, the ending phrase of Castle Dangerous. And again, if that is too quick, go ahead and slow down the speed on the playback. And it's really important that you work on this over the next week. Have fun.